Hey YouTubers, this is just a really, really quick a product I like type of video. Uh, I thought I'd share with you, I've discovered um, something that's uh, really amazing. It's just, it's so exciting, you're not going to believe it. Uh, it's it's uh, lens caps. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's not exciting at all. But um, it's exciting if you don't have lens caps that you like already. So, um, for example, uh, you know, I, I've waved this camera up and I still haven't shot it. Uh, this, this Nikon came with a 50 F2, no lens cap. Uh, this Olympus came, well, it didn't come with, but I got a 50 F1.4 for it, no lens cap. The guy did provide a lens cap, actually. It just, it's one of those with the little pinchy things on the sides and it just kind of didn't grip the filter threads and so on and so forth. So it kind of sucked. What I'm turning you on to is lens caps made by Sensei. So um, I got this and all of these on B&H Photo. And they range from like three, four, seven bucks, you know, depending on the filter size. What I like about them is they have a uh, pinch in the center type of design, kind of like I think Nikon does that. It's a, it's a smart design, but you can also pinch them on the outside. So either way, the only slight well, there's a couple of slight downsides. One of the slight downsides is the pinchy in the center thing. There's not any uh, texture in there to grip it with, but it works okay. So um, this is my Leica 90 millimeter F2. Uh, it's a, a Simicron. Um, I had a cap on here. It was like a Vivitar cap that kind of slid over the the um, outside of the lens. And, you know, I was just always afraid it was going to come off. And it did come off every time I'd grab it out of the camera bag. This one is really secure, so I dig it. And as I just waved around, I went, basically, I went through the cameras where I was missing uh, a lens cap and just, you know, figured out the filter threads or the filter size and um, got a cap for it. So I went through the whole collection. So I've talked about uh, one uh, sort of misdesign that could have put a little bit of uh, texture in the pinch part in the center. Uh, the other thing is due to the design of the cap, if you look at the back of it, there's not a lot of relief here. It's, it's essentially flat. So, and then you're, you're going to put these gripper parts into your filter thread. So you're going to slide those in there. And on a lens that doesn't have a lot of relief for the objective, the front element, I'm a little fearful that there might be some interference. This is a Sigma 28 f 1.8. It's an A-mount lens, kind of, kind of a nice lens. Um, see how close that objective is to the filter threads? Now, filter has some relief in it. You screw a filter in and the glass isn't right up to the edge of the threads. Uh, but this this thing is like I said it's right there so I'm a little fearful to really jam this on there but I'm doing it anyway um, I got one for my uh, the big 400 millimeter Sigma and that one it was just that objective is so close I was just like ah screw it I'll just use the cap that came with the lens so so that's in my uh, photography gear box but all the, in all the other cases, except for the Sigma 28, um, it's just, they rock. So I just wanted to tell you about them. I got mine at B&H Photo. I don't get any money for you going there. That's just where I got mine. I ordered like five or six of them. They're good. Um, totally recommend them. Um, let's see, what else can I add? Uh, I'm always talking about the videos I'm going to make, and I, I never make them. Uh, behind me, oh, God, everything's backwards right here. See that? Uh, I didn't prep this at all. That's a, a new used Billingham that I bought. That is a Billingham uh, F-Stop series F1.4. And I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I might like it better than the... Um... All right, senior moment. What's it called? The Billingham mm, something pro. Uh, Hadley. Hadley pro. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I think I like it better than my Hadley Pro, uh, and I'll get into that in the, in the review and, and why I think it's more useful for me, maybe for you, if you're in the market for a Billingham. Uh, anyway, uh, 
and I've also got the DOM key inserts right there. Uh, there's one of them. And there's the other one uh, that I'm supposed to be reviewing. Uh, I've done a lot of playing around with them, so uh, I'll, I'll be able to do a video about them. Um, it's been very hard for me to pick which one I like better, to be honest. And what I'm thinking is, what I'm going to do is, whichever one I like better, I keep. The one I don't like as much, I give away. So, maybe another contest coming. I'll catch you later.